All right, so uh, what we'll do first is create an aggregate. We'll call this aggregate one. Uh, and this is going to be a uh, layer three aggregate. Uh, yep, and that's good. Uh, we're not going to assign it to a virtual router or a uh, security zone. We're not going to assign an IP address on either side, but we are going to enable LACP uh, and mark it as active. Uh, and we're not going to do anything with this. So that's it for that. So refresh. Well, that's never happened before. All right, so uh, now that our aggregate exists, what we'll do is we will connect this uh, first interface to aggregate, aggregate ethernet, and then we'll mark it to AE1. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing for this. So the purpose for this, uh, this aggregate interface is to um, handle the uplink of all of the layer three networks for the internal network. Uh, I'm giving it four interfaces, so theoretically four gigs. Um, now, if we had a bigger, um, a bigger firewall and a bigger switch, I might do this with uh, two 10 gig interfaces as opposed to four one gig interfaces. Um, so, um, it's possible that with how small the Palo Alto is, we'll never be able to push and pull four gigs through it, but um, it never hurts to, you know, at least. So now that we have our aggregates and our layer uh, and this, what we'll do is we'll create our sub interfaces off of that. Uh, and we'll start with our management, which is on VLAN, VLAN, <clears throat> VLAN 11. So we'll label it. 11 and tag 11. Um, actually, before we do this, let's jump over to our zones and let's create our zones. All right, so our first zone is going to be SECnet MGT for management. We're going to enable user identification. We're going to enable user identification for just about all internal, um, all layer three internal networks. Um, so, and then we'll make this a layer three uh, zone. Click OK. And we'll continue that for the rest of them. So, SIFNET, um, DMZ, SIFNET, DMZ, enable that, mark this as a layer three interface. Segment. So DMZ AAA for our authentication. Uh, we'll mark that as that. And then we'll do layer three. Uh, and segment. Sec for our security uh, systems. Mark that. Mark that. Click OK. So I'm going to do sec. Okay, so now we'll do secnet serve. This is for all the member servers, um, all the application servers. All right, so we'll click OK. And then secnet. Uh, we'll do VoIP next. Uh, we're not going to enable user identification on VoIP. And we are still going to make it layer three. And we'll do segment user for users. And we'll do this as layer three. Now we also need a zone for our WAN. So we're not going to put SecNet in front of that because it is not a part of the network. Uh, and we are going to make it a layer three interface. Uh, and we'll create one for our guests. 
Uh, we're not going to enable user identification as it is not part of the security boundary uh, of the internal network. So now we'll do that. All right, so let's just make sure we didn't miss anything. So we have our WAN management DMZ, AAA, sex, serve, VoIP user, WAN, and guest. All right, let's just double check with our. Uh, switch and so we'll log into this oops no that is all oh, I see what we did all right all right then there we go all right so show me in brief all right, so we have our management, DMZ, AAA, sex, or VoIP user, guests, and that's all we need. So we are good to go. Um, so now we'll go back to create our sub-interfaces. So if we click on this, uh, add sub-interfaces, uh, then we'll do 11, and then 11 for the tag, and then we will do default. And this is gonna go on management, since management is VLAN 11. 10.0.11.1 slash 24. Um, eventually, we might uh, come back and enable IPv6, but for now, we're not. Um, I'm also going to create, uh, at least temporarily, we're going to use a management profile. Um, we're going to call this ping only. Uh, and we're going to just use it to verify that, you know, everything's working across VLANs. Uh, and then we'll remove this from all the interfaces. Um, so let's go back. So default routes, yes, 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 yes. All right, so we're good with that one. And we'll do the same for the next so sub-interface. Uh, we're gonna do 21, 21, assign this to default. So next is going to be 100, 100 defaults, user 1001. I'm sorry, uh, 101001 slash 22. Um, I picked 22. Um, just because I, I would, if this were a real network, I would expect, you know, to have more than 200 users. Um, I could really make this 24, but act as if. All right, so, and last but not least, oops, let's cancel that. Be sure these are all 81s. Okay, so next we're gonna do 66 because that's what I made our guest network. Uh, defaults and guests. Uh, then we're gonna put this on a completely different IP scheme. And we'll also make this 22. Uh, and then we won't enable ping for this. And let's pull off. Okay, so next we're going to use um, port 8 for our WAN. Uh, so we're going to make this a layer 3 interface. 
We're going to put this on default router, uh, default virtual router. And then we're going to go to WAN. And then we're going to put in our IP addresses, uh, which I have to cheat. Uh, so we're going to put this on 96.231.240.1. Two seventeen slash twenty four, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy part of this. I'm going to try and copy part of this. Uh, put this in the pad. Like that. Um, so, <clears throat> so that's going to be our default NAT IP address. So, uh, all of our um, internal zones that will have internet access will NAT out of this IP address. Um, but for internal um, services that we publish, we're going to put them on different IP addresses, one of which is going to be 218. Uh, and we're going to keep this as a slash 32 and 219. And again, we're going to keep that as a slash 32. Uh, so whenever I've built systems that have multiple interfaces, or multiple IP addresses on a single interface, uh, I always put the subnet mask for the first and then the slash 32 for the... Uh, additional uh, and this has worked the best for me uh, again we're not going to do any ipv6 right now uh, and we're not going to do anything with paying for the win so that's going to be it for that